my words. Would you like the bad news or the worst news or, or which it's level all of bad, bad news. you want? Just hit me with it. It really don't matter. I've already been sitting here. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you will have time served for the time you've been here, okay? And the issue that we're having right now, I'm trying to make sure that you're being charged appropriately. I don't oh, want to have you charged for don't some shit. Don't you even you... say that around me. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and your appropriate okay. charges, okay. you fucking okay. idiot. Okay. Just okay. do your job and fucking charge me. Okay. I don't want to hear what that is... bullshit. Okay. You're... You want to stay in the cell here? Do you want me to take you to oh, the I'll, cell? Oh, yeah. This is, I love this. I would love to stay here. You'd I'd love definitely... to stay in here? You want to stay in this one? This no, okay? motherfucker. Can... Just get the charges. Okay. They're working on it. Do you understand? How long you working on this? Shit. They're making sure they're going through each one and making sure that it has enough probable cards to go and get you charged with something rather than charging you with something that's fucking half ass. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Would you rather much. you get charged with some half ass bullshit? It's usually how it goes. Well, that's why I don't want it to usually go like You that. caught me on some half ass bullshit? Well, listen, I wasn't. I don't know the full story as to what happened down there, okay? What I do know is Pina tells somebody up trying to get you out. What does that matter? That man was big time. How does it matter? Because you had a fucking gun when he had, uh, when he tried to free you. I had a gun? Yeah, you have a gun. You had a gun in your possession. Yeah, not, you guys didn't know that at the time? Yeah, not at the time. That's what I'm saying. Now we do. But that's why you're here for that long. What does that matter, we're bro? That. What does peanut, because we're working through that. What does peanut, what does that have to do with anything? What, what do you mean, what does it have to do with anything? I'm just saying it was utilized, right? You had it there. You weren't being charged with it at the time. But now you're down here for a while because we're going through all of it to make sure it's not, you know, yeah, bullshit. You and you are, I don't know if this is some, like, next level verbal judo, but you fucking me up right now. What, what, you got me confused. No, I don't know, what, I don't understand fuck? what point you're trying to make. I'm not making up. I'm just saying you're down here for an extended period. You will have time I, I, I can tell. I can tell. Yes, no shit. Do you want me to move you to another cell so you're not sitting tucked away in a fucking alley here? Oh, that would be great, man. That would be great. Okay. Thank you. You want to turn around for me real quick? There you go. All right, follow me up, Mr. Kite. All right, let's go to the big cell. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, hey. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, He's going to bite you, Jimbo. Huh? He's going to bite you. Ow, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Get him. Stop. Stop. Hey. Motherfucker. Jimbo, you know get what? your ass to one of the closed rooms. I'll deal with him. Taser, taser, taser. Get the fuck <laughs> back, Mr. K. I swear on my life, get your ass in the big cell. You man, you this. strong you for this. old man. What the fuck? Get your ass up, Mr. K. I will carry you. I will carry you. Don't play with me, Mr. K. Get your ass in the cell. I will taste you. Now you're on your face. How does that look? Okay. I don't want to shake your legs, Mr. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Don't try it. Don't try it, Mr. K. I'm really mobile. I'm really... I'm not... You motherfucker. You motherfucker. You think I'm stupid? Get your ass back here. We're going to seize your belongings. Come back over here, Mr. K. I didn't get yeah. it back. Oh, yeah. Then let me check. Come here. Huh. Stand still. Spread your cheeks, man. Okay, you do got your bags of chips. All right, come on. Okay. Okay. Just you kidding. Keep you, can't, your you can't legs? do it when you're cuffed, idiot. <laughs> Man, how would I know? Have I ever been cuffed down here? No. You know what? I'll extend you this courtesy so you can run around here for now. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay. Because they had you in that tiny little room and that's not a good thing. Hey, you want to know something? Yeah, you know the gun that you had on me? The gun that you had on you, sorry? What? Apparently, it was used to shoot me in, the, in my fucking neck, Mr. K. Right here. You was see, it, you see this right mean? here? It doesn't matter. You had the gun. You know how this shit works, Mr. K. You was a fucking detective, man. Okay. Are you, you teasing poor, innocent Mr. K? I'm not teasing poor, innocent Mr. K. I'm letting him stretch his legs. Oh, my God. I can't believe he did. He did nothing wrong. Can you uh, open this up for me? I seem to. I left my keys upstairs. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, detective. I'm not a detective. No. I'm talking to Mr. K. Oh. I believe you shot me, Mr. K. That's fucked up. I didn't. 
Then tell me who did. I don't know. Whoever had the gun before. Who had the gun before you? No clue. I, I mean, listen, if you give me good info and it's, you know, credible, I don't think you'll be getting charged Just with get a, my charges a hot... first. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah, I have to try. What are we looking at? Do you want me to go through every single report and explain to you the charges or do you want the whole thing? Just tell me the charges. Uh, like, do you want them by report? Because I'm gonna have to go through each report if you want, like, individual. Motherfucker, I don't know. It's your job. So, so to in total, uh, with the hot gun and with everything, you're looking at 268 months in jail. We're gonna knock off uh, 88 months and go down to 180, and it's gonna get a thirty-four thousand dollar fine. Okay. I can go it's through each one by one if you'd like. Period. Yeah, we can review each one and what you're being charged with. Go ahead. All right. It's really going to make you go through this one, Bobby. All right, stand by. All right. We're going to go through it. So uh, on a report 3787, you're looking at one times attempted murder of a government employee. On report 3788, you are looking at assault with a deadly weapon. On report 3789, you were looking at nothing. I'm not charging you with that one because I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. On report 3791, you're getting charged with one time attempted murder of a government employee for a shooting officer as he sold him. What's the, did they have like a description of the people on these reports? Um, oh, well, well, what do you mean description of the people? The person who shot? The officers the or the people who got shot? Oh, the, like, some some do, some don't. That's is it issue, just right? casings, or it's like, hey, we saw this guy wearing this. No, there, yeah. there's information. There's I some mean, info. Not please, do all. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't know if I'm comfortable disclosing all the information on the report. So we what do you mean you're not comfortable? I'm the one info. getting charged with this shit. Yeah, Let me you know can what's face going on. your accusers, Mr. K. So you can face your accusers. However, to get full information, uh, you need to. You, you can't head. just tell me here, though. Because then I could fucking can tell work you parts you. of it, right? What are you asking for? Are you asking I, what I don't, description I don't they provided for the person with the gun? I, I think this was someone else. I think there was some that we had casings inside a hospital. We had casings at Mosley's. In the a hospital. That comes back to. Yes. I believe so. All right. That Why'd you say it like that, Lisa? Okay. Because I never shot anyone in a hospital. Okay. okay. You just had a gun of somebody that did then. Yeah. I, no, it's not Mosley's, I, I was shot, shot that by somebody. EMS. To be honest, I'm surprised it was you. They seemed a little, you know, not to be you know fucked up and rude because you're old, but they didn't seem old. On so, rep report three seven nine two, you're looking at one times criminal use of a firearm. Um, on report three seven nine three, you are looking at two times assault with a deadly weapon. On report two nine nine nine, you are looking at criminal use of a firearm. And then incident three seven eight four. What is that criminal is, use of a firearm? Which What's is, that scene about? Uh, the criminal use of a firearm. Uh, which one? The two? The two that I just listed the out. The one you just said, yeah. Uh, there was. Uh, it was an incident at sanitation. And, I mean, how People were how shot. People were shot by uh, this weapon. And what casings were just found? The the casings from this weapon. How do you know it's criminal use? It's an illegal firearm. You're not licensed it's, to it's, carry. It's not criminal. How do you know I shot it? No, no, I'm we, saying when someone made that report. You possessed the weapon that that shot the people. No, no, but how? If casings were just found, how do you know that's criminal use? You don't know the scene. Because you don't know if it was self defense. The well, you didn't get statements from the other side. Because we never got the other side, right? So do you want to tell us what happened from your side? Was it me? Right. But, but I'm just okay. saying, how are you going to give me criminal use if you guys, you just, all you did was You're not getting cases? criminal use, you're getting assault with a deadly. Assault with a deadly? Yes. What Somebody was the criminal was use? You literally said criminal use. I asked you for that one. For one before, okay, one before. The one before that, do you want that one? That's what I said from the start. Okay, I apologize. Uh, criminal use of firearm, there was... Uh... See, I just saw that fucking clip with the Renaissance fair. It was funny as fuck. Tracking device tampering. Um, there was blood on scene. Wait, and what? So tracking device tampering. What is that? A, uh, a uh, stolen vehicle, and there was a tracker on the vehicle. 
And when officers pulled up, there was uh, casings that were on the ground that came back to this weapon. Again, how you know it's criminal use? So, uh, are you asking in reference to that specific one or just in general? Because just I can in general, give you more I'm confused. Just because you find casings, you're like, oh, well, this yeah. was criminally used? So, did you Is use Is there it? witnesses I mean, on, on that case? It comes down right to... I'll read you the charge and I'll tell you what my... The way I understand it, okay? Think about it for use. 10 seconds. No problem, do it then. So criminal uh, use, the way it's worded, Mr. K, it says, this charge is a firearm for no legal reason or using a firearm in the commission to aid in a crime. Okay. Did you talk and, to any uh, witnesses or victims so, on that scene? So I'm not no, no, hold on. that just, one specifically. Hold on. No, hang on. I'm talking Did in general, right? Did you talk to any... I'm, I know, but I'm talking about this. You, okay. You, you defined what the law is. Did you talk to any yeah. witnesses or victims? Jimbo, what which report was that? Was that the criminal use one? That you're talking about, Mr. K? Let me find it. Okay, you're asking about the one that you were charged, not assault with a deadly, it's the wrong one. One second. All right, sorry about that. Maybe we'll, we'll, but what we'll, was the we'll incident, the one for the criminal use? It's 3792. All right. Uh, we had units respond to a shots fired the call. We received calls of people shooting guns in the area. Once we arrived, they didn't find any vehicles or individuals at, at the scene. We found projectiles and we found casings which matched the ballistics that was found with your firearm. So how does that equal criminal use? It's not a, it's not an illegal gun. Um, so you didn't, hold on, hold on. You didn't talk to any witnesses sure. or victims to get any type of idea of how it was used maybe someone used it in self-defense or whatever um right. you don't have any statements that would paint the picture of how it was used and you can't prove so the, it was me that used it i just have the gun on me so you can't charge me yeah. with criminal use if you guys don't even know how it was used all you did was find my cases. rebuttal right uh, you know if somebody was defending themselves they have to report that to 901 as per stand your ground okay? that's still not criminal use of it well hang on yeah but to discharge the firearm for no legal reason. What was the legal reason for someone to discharge the firearm? I don't know. That's firearm? your that's your job to investigate. I understand it's, not, it. it's not my job to tell it. you. You didn't you I, that one's too weak. Don't charge me with that one. If you do, we'll do a bench trial right now. Let me read through all this real quick. Okay? That's that's I'll a weak one. You know that photos. one's weak. Let me go through it. I'll look at all the evidence and I'll let you know, okay? Yeah. I'll have him go through the rest of them while I review this. Okay. I want to work with you guys. I ain't here to argue. Jimbo. I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm. No, hundred percent. I think that's I appreciate a appreciate you being cordial. You there's, know what I mean? There's, there's also two other ones that we didn't even charge you with. No, no, yeah, I, I, like I, they, you already mentioned yeah. that. I don't think it's. I'm just trying to do better for myself here because uh, that one, that one seems weak. There's not really much there. If I make it look like it's me against them, they're, they're gonna fucking go hard on my ass. And Aziz, if you want to try to, if you want to change the charges or anything, just feel free to, you know. Yeah, I'm looking over them right disagree. now, just reviewing. Like, no I'm exporting them out to look at all the photos and everything yeah, that was sure. listed in them. Should I rather just fight the fucking charges down as much as we can, get more time served, and That one, I think we can get dropped because that one's legit. They just came up on a scene, found casings and said, oh, this is criminal use here. Put a warrant out or put a report. Okay. So, Mr. K, uh, I'm looking at it the way I see it, right? For us, you're the person who's in possession of actual possession of the firearm right now, right? Ultimately, all incidents in the past, if deemed fit, right? If there is enough evidence, circumstantial or not, statements or not, there will be charges associated. Since you do not have a legal weapons uh, license, you um, do not have a... Uh, that yeah? wasn't me. You can't prove it was me. But you have the firearm on you. Well, I got the firearm two days ago. Possession. I stole yeah. it off a Saints member. Doesn't I, Good. Doesn't matter. Constructive oh, possession. I'm just saying. You guys have nothing there. You went to a scene and just picked up casings. You don't. You don't know if it was me who shot it or, or whatever. Who's the gun come back to? If it's a, if it's a legally a gun, maybe it was fucking them. You ever think about that? Constructive possession, my ass. The gun was obviously in someone else's possession before it's me. I, at the time, right? But then you were the How one. How do you know? You can't with... prove at the time it was me. Because that's what you're claiming. What? You're alleging that you got the firearm, you didn't know, and you're saying it wasn't you that did the crimes at the past, right? 
but since you have the gun on you right now, you can't the charges prove and the crimes that were committed who with that shot firearm. the gun back then. You can't prove what even happened back then. And you don't even See, know what happened. Was so this? you're going to put criminal possession. Which one? This was on... 2623. Let or me criminal see. use or whatever the fuck. Yeah. We got to make sure these are still within 30 as well, Jimbo. Can you double check that? Okay, good. I am... Okay. Oh my god, I'm so headache, sir. Yeah, we might have to do a bench trial here, then. Let me make a quick phone call, and I'll get confirmation. I'll let you know how we stand on this, okay? Who are you calling? An attorney. An attorney? Why are you calling an attorney? Man, listen, because we're getting into some severe legal jargon, and I want to make sure we're no, doing no, it correct. No, that's for right? court. Okay, I won't call an attorney. How about that? You want to have it mano a mano? We can chat it. Why would you call a judge? That's for court. Nah, then, then we're, go, we're going up. If we're going to go to a judge, I'd say a bench well, is probably the most appropriate. Yeah, if you're calling a judge, it's still a bench trial. You guys got an opinion on... Uh... I mean, so... I'm telling you how I see it, right? And I understand where your perspective is. To a, to a degree, I do agree with you partially, right? However, since you are in direct possession of the firearm now, actual possession of well, the firearm now... Why don't we get now, Slash down here, then? Let's talk to the captain. Get his opinion. Mm, I don't think he's on duty. I can try yeah. to see whoever next in command Man, is. I can call, call him. Yeah, call up uh, whoever. I think McNulty, right? Or yeah, I'll give McNulty a call. Just give me one second, okay? What's the uh, date on these? What's the date on all these? Uh, I mean, they're all on different dates. I can read them off. I can yeah, read them off one by one. Off. Okay. Uh, the oldest one right now, from what it looks like, was February 21st is the oldest one right now. I can read off one by one if you'd like. Yeah. Okay. It's going to give me a second. Uh, March 9th. That's okay. What's that? That's four days ago. Which one? It was four days ago. Yeah, but what is it? Like, do you want the incident number? Yeah, no, like what happened? What was the charge? Just a general little. Oh, God. Okay. That's what you want. Um, that was uh, three, four. Watch this. Yeah, I know. Chat. Watch. We'll get him. We'll get him fucking uh, checkmated right here. Let's that was see. a government employee being shot. And that was on the ninth. Yes. Uh, sir, I was in prison. I got out on the ninth. I may be able to do this. Hold on. That's not how constructive possession works. You're in possession of the firearm. All right. Listen, Jimbo. Come on. I, I'm explaining uh, know, you how I'm the law works. I know, but I'm telling you, though. You don't like, have I understand to, hold on, what you're stop, saying. Stop, 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 stop. You, you don't have to fucking... Comp you have to... You, you follow within the guidelines of the law. You don't have to fucking... Well, this is what exactly is written on the paper. If I was in jail, I mean, that means I'm uh, physically... Fuck, you, were, you were possessing an IFAC today and I didn't charge you with it. Chimbo, that's not what this is about. Why do you always... Why, you, why do you make it like this? What's make it on? like what? What are you... Yeah, I'm not saying you're not doing shit for me. I'm just arguing for myself. You're trying to charge me with something when I was in jail. I've seen nonchalant to Mr. K before. If Mr. K was, you know, he'd be saying, send me up, charge me. I, this is a cordial Mr. K. I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying you ain't yeah. doing shit for me. I appreciate you not no, charging me with the it, iPad. The, but the that problem one, is we're just arguing I understand back and constructive, forth about the same whatever. Thing. But listen, the ninth, so, Aziz, the ninth, I was in jail. So that one can't even be me. So you do have a defense to some things. Yeah, this is good. Mr. K, you help me help you. I help got us, out you on the ninth. Because. But... because <laughs> I don't believe that you had and committed all these crimes. However, the way the law is structured is since you are in direct that possession been, of the firearm and that firearm is linked to those jobs. situations, you have to be charged for that, right? But I'm trying to work with you yeah, exactly. because you're giving That's me it. some I'm, info. I'm not trying to argue with you guys or fight you guys. I'm just trying Good. to get make sure I get the right charges. Good. Okay. Jimbo. I'm listening. I love you. You've done a lot. You've been you to do and read through a shit ton of reports, okay? It's not easy. Yep. Okay. All right. So, 
Is that okay? Yeah. Let me help you, okay? Exactly. I, I wanna, night, let's get, let's get a superior down there. Let's, let's really prison. chop down this yes. list. If it's legit okay. and, and, you know, it's it's a solid thing. All right. I understand, you know, uh, it was found in my possession. You got to do what you got to do. But yeah. ones where I'm so like, I'm in jail or there's mm -hmm. no, like, actual statements or anything. And I want to fight those. And I wholeheartedly, that is your word, right? I don't, my intent and Jimbo's intent, we're not the ones that are just going to throw you up and put the key away and just say, fuck this dude, right? Yeah, any, we want to make sure shit's going right. March 7th, 8th, 9th, I was in jail, so. Was that for which incident? Why were you sent up to jail for that? Was that for the, the guns that you had? I was in okay. there, yeah. I remember you got sent up for quite some time. Okay. Tell me, look at this shit. This took place on the, you said the dates that you were there were when? 7th, 8th, and 9th? Yep. Let me look at this shit and see. This took place on the 22nd of February, okay? And that's for the criminal use where the casings were found since you had the possession of the gun on you, okay? That one, I can't really work with you much unless you start to give me a little bit more details as to the firearm, when you had it, when you acquired it, if you bought it. You know what I'm saying? Some details like that can help. And it can help clear your name in some situations. But I need your help also trying to... You know what I'm saying? Help you, help me, help everybody. I got the gun on Sunday. So whatever date that is. So this Sunday, right? So anything from Sunday to now was me. We got to give them okay. something, chat, or they won't. Where'd you get the gun from? Did you purchase it? No. I robbed it off someone. I'm not exactly who they were. I'm pretty sure it was a uh, Saints gang member. So what's going on with you and the Saints? I know y'all uh, just we, been some back and yeah, forth. We were beefing right? a little bit, but I think it's all uh, settled. It was really over nothing. Just button heads uh, with a few people. Okay. I mean, is that going to keep happening between y'all? No, no, it's all squashed. Okay. That's why, I mean, I'm sure you haven't gotten any calls for any of that stuff today. Yeah. Okay. And this helps. This really does help. Do you recall anything about who or how they got that shit? Um, I'm going to incriminate him. I, I stabbed the guy and took it off him. That never even happened. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember anything distinct about that individual? Uh, male, female subjects, long hair, short hair, anything like that that could help us? Uh, yeah, like a tan shirt, black vest, like some tattoos on his neck. On the neck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, this took place down by the Saints block over by... Uh, near, yeah, near like a, like a church or whatever down there. The, the church with the alleys and all that over there yeah, by yeah, Little yeah. Bighorn? It looks like a church, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's that yellow building around and stuff. I'm not snitching because it's all fake info. Okay. All right. Give me two seconds to talk to Jimbo, okay? Okay. All right. All right, Jimbo, can we chat? But it's fake, sure. but also I made sure the certain details were real so they can't. It'll just be a dead end. They can't say it's fake, but it'll turn to be a dead end. Oh, wait, what the fuck are y'all doing? Hey! Wait, hey, wait, what the fuck? You take care now, okay? You have a wonderful night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Huh? Oh, what was he asking? What was that? Nothing. Just, I saw that. Just, you're good. What, what do you mean? What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Mr. You're Gary. good, man. You're, you're hallucinating. You've been down here. The fumes are getting to you, old man. Yep. All right, is this? Is this you and me now, detective? Fuck, never mind. I'm getting a phone call. Officer Selton. 
the chief is not around. Uh, I'm in the middle of sales right now. Are you okay? Why does it sound like you got something in your mouth? The fuck? Oh, okay. What? What? You say you swallow? Listen, I'll call you back later, okay? I'm busy right now. So save my number. All right. So. Uh, we're worried. So Jimbo is cooked beyond understanding right now. So I want to make sure everything is sorted, right? I... Mm -hmm. Mr. K, you know what I'm doing? I'm taking a, a little leap here because I believe you're telling me part the truth, okay? I don't think you'll be telling me the full story. Mm -hmm. I don't think you tell me the fully what happened. I believe some parts to the fact that you either did acquire the gun at one point or another, right? Do I 100% believe it was after you were released from prison? I can't say that for sure, right? And I don't think there's any way for you to prove that. But while I was in prison, obviously that can't be me. So I, I feel like... Well, for those, yeah, I agree. Constructive possession prison, doesn't even apply because it's not even that. possible. I wouldn't charge you for that. Well, I mean, constructive possession is applicable, right? Yeah, but if I brought that to court and I was like, listen, look, boom, I was in jail. It's, it's I'll be dead honest in the with you. I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if that's how it would go. I would. Well, then the system's kind of broken. It no? should to a degree. Yeah, All right. Yeah. I'm not saying nothing. You can, though. I mean, you're not DOJ. You can say what you want. Uh, I'm still police and I represent the police, but I'm not saying anything. You, th you really think they would punish you if you went, if you said like you didn't agree with the law? Is it? He's making sure there's no. They got y'all like nothing. that for real. Listen, man, it's tough out here, Mr. K. I'm trying Jesus to do my job. Christ. All right, so. Oh, well, I remember. I should speak louder than words. You don't gotta say it. And integrity is conduct, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very important for a department. I'm going to be in very high integrity and very high Well, integrity conduct. should be like, okay, well, this guy obviously couldn't have the done truth. this, so I'm not going to push that. Yes. And that's why I'm doing this. It's your discretion, yep. Well, to an extent, yes. But integrity is very important, and I believe the truth prevails over everything. That's right, why I believe the truth. How you feel about truth. some of these charges? <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, so now you don't want to yeah, tell no, the hey, truth. Hey, hey, yo, hang on. Interesting. Hang on. It seems like truth? only a certain truth is allowed. Wow. You're really spinning it out me like that, Mr. K. Is that what we're doing? I'm just saying. Listen, man, I can charge you with everything <laughs> under the fucking gun right now, and you can take it to court I'm and deal with balls, that. I'm man. I know. Listen, so I agree with you. While you were in prison, I don't think you should be charged for any of the incidents that took place then. All right, so which ones were between seven and nine? Let me reference the thing he forwarded to me, and I'll, get, I'll let you know. Hey, but be real with me. Did you shoot me? Well, I, honestly, I don't remember. I don't think I did. Were you in Mosey's? I've been to Moses before. What happened? Like, what was it? Do you remember? Some guy with a turbo or some shit was jacking a turbo or trying to inquire about a car. I came up asking. I, I ran the plate on the car. I was showing him my ID like this, man. I was all proud. I got a new lineup. No. I got that sorted. And it wasn't then, me. I don't remember this. Wasn't you? No. Listen, you help me find out who the motherfucker did this, man. We can talk about having you walk out the door right now. Just who the it's fuck? Whoever is. had this shit before me. Man. That wasn't me. Thanks. Did they even look like me? Be honest. Did they look like me? Turn around a little bit. I mean, they did have short hair. They did have a mask covering their face. Could you see uh, the skin? Had to be peanut, bro. You know, maybe you had, I don't know, they were a little bit tanner than you. I couldn't tell. Maybe you were at the beach. I, I'm not sure. Oh, as you see, I mean, different skin color. Yeah, that, that, that is true. That is true. Now that you bring it up. Couldn't be but, me. So, but that's where the constructive possession falls, right? And that's that's why. Yeah, but if, if I we work go with you and court, do what I, what I can, I mean, like. And that's what I'm willing to do, right? Because if we go to court. If the description of the guy that pulled the trigger at the time doesn't fit me, then it wasn't me. But then there's a possession, right? The constructive. And it's, no, I it's, understand that. But if, it's, if it's like you're in there, you're the one that got shot. And like, well, you know. Yeah. I mean, the guy, the guy didn't even look like Mr. K, so. To a degree, right? He was masked up. He was yeah, covered but certain up. things like skin color, it's like that's some not something aspects, you can yeah. fucking change. Some aspects. Yeah. So for some of those, that's why you're not being charged with every single one, right? Because some of them, I and Jimbo do not believe that there is enough evidence, right, to be able to press charges, to get to that point beyond reasonable doubt, right? So the ones that Jimbo went over with you, what did you say about those? 
Um, well, we didn't. We, the we criminal just, use one, the, right? So the ninth it's, one, we want to get rid of the criminal use. Yeah, that was just they found casings, and you guys want to charge me with that? Because it, it again, once it comes down on the possession, even though there wasn't any victims, there wasn't any people to actually witness it. And what was the date? Crime. Let me check. Uh, that was when you were out of prison, I believe. Let me find it. It was on the twenty second of February. Okay, so that was way before. Yeah, it was before prison. Yeah. But it, it's still within statute of limitations, right? Thirty days is a statute of limitation. Is which is there any more between the seventh and the ninth besides that one? The seventh and the ninth. I have to reference them. Give me one second to look yeah. through. So this one was on the twenty first, okay. No, it's just, it's just, it's, I just want to, anyone's between the 7th and 9th, we could just get rid of, is what I'm okay. trying to say. Let's get the list smaller here, so it'll be easier Three, to go through. Seven. That's fair. All right, give me two seconds while I run through all of them, and I'll let you know the date. This one was on the 26th. That one is good. Let's look at this one. This one was on the 21st. This one was on the 22nd. This one was on the 26th. This one took place on the 4th. All right. This one took place on the 9th. All right, so get rid of the ninth. Which you claim you were in prison because you got sent on the seventh? Yeah. Or the sixth. Let me go back and check that incident. But okay. I will note this down, this one. You were incarcerated for that time. All right, so all the ones when I was in jail are gone. So now, let's go through the list top to bottom. Tell me what happened on each scene and... I could try to work so, with you if it was me yeah. or not or whatever. Hundred percent. The thing is, I can't fully disclose all the info because some info might be sensitive, yeah, which you can general. get if you for you, right? I can give you like a general consensus of what happened and what I see in front of me right now. Okay, so just give me one second. Yeah, let's all the ones after the tenth of March. Let's do because that's actually ones maybe I could give some comment on. Okay. So I believe there's one where you're facing attempted murder of a government employee, which took place on the 13th. Okay. Uh, the same casings that were matching the firearm you had on your person came back at a crime scene analysis that took place where a individual walked up behind somebody at the courthouse, walked up behind him after, after having a conversation, talking about laws and whatnot. They walked up behind him at the desk and point blank opened fire in the back of the head. Jesus Christ. The 13th? Fuck that the executioner shit. Yeah, the 13th. I so think that, I mean, that report's wrong. How do you say? Oh, hang on. You might be wrong. You might be right. That one took place on... Because I didn't that one was kill on the anybody ninth. at the courthouse. That was at the 9th. That was on the 9th. Okay, so I, was, I was in jail that day. That was when you were in jail. Okay. Let me make sure that's noted down. This shit is confusing. I'm going to be honest and with you, so just bear the, with me, okay? Yeah, okay. So there's for the attempt to murder. Did they just submit okay? that report? Is that why it was marked today? So it was, uh, it's kind of tricky. It's just, you know, tech shit. Essentially, when we have something that we don't have somebody suspected, and then when we put it up and make yeah, it somebody yeah, where understand. we can, you know? Yeah. All right. So boom, those two. Those two. Um, okay. All right, next. Let me go down the list a little bit more. Okay. This one. Okay. Let me read through this real quick. One second. What's the next one you said? I'm just reading through it. It is an incident that took place at the hospital on the 21st. Okay. I'm just looking at the evidence listed with it. Yeah. Because, um, and, you know, I don't know if this is going to help me at all, but. So I was arrested on, what was it? The. Sixth, seventh, whatever it is. Um, mm -hmm. I was found with a nineteen eleven, mm -hmm. 
And that's what I was using all the way up until that point. And that's why I got charged with a bunch of shit on top of that as well. So the, I'm being serious when I'm saying I didn't get that gun until the 10th. Mm. Okay. And you could check that report. I was caught with the 1911. That was my gun. That's what I was, I've been using. Yeah, you had the 1911. You also had the Cornwoods gun as well, right? No, that wasn't found on me. That was found in a river. Yeah, but I still boys. got charged with possession. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know the exact specifics, but I saw the charge. Yeah, that's already that done with, so. Okay. All right, so. Let me just call my senior so again. Double check with him on something me. real quick. Okay? They're like the senior senior. So I'm not even lying about that. A, I'm not fucking you over with your rights, and I'm also not fucking you. Yeah, I understand. This, this, is, this, process, is pretty okay? this is getting actually more complicated now that we even yeah. dig deeper. It, it definitely is, but the reason I'm doing this is because I want to somewhat achieve a standard of something similar to this. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm being hey, hopeful. Anything after the 10th, I'm willing to, I'll tell you exactly what happened since right, you're working with just me. Just take that for me, okay? So if you pick those reports out, we can get those done and get those just solidified, and then boom, we'll be good. And then we can go get the, the iffy ones. Two seconds. You're good on food? You need anything to eat or drink or you still got those chips? No, I'm good. All right. Just two seconds. No, yeah. Those, anything before... Hi, Ruby. It says these. I gotta... Actually, anything before the ninth was actually not Hi, me. Hi, Mr. K. How you doing? Um, you know, fucked up some gangbangers. Fucked my life up. So, Rami literally gave me a fucking hot gun. Motherfucker. Who gave me that shit? I don't understand. Pretty sure Rami gave me a gun or was it Vinny? Or did I just grab one out the stash? I... That's what it was, bro. I went to where I stashed my gun before, and it was that gun. And, or no, because I got my shit stolen. I must have just took in a fucking... Hot gun. I don't fucking know. I don't know where I fucking got it, but I ended up with that gun. Yeah, I think this is the gun Peanut was using before. I think all of our shit got mixed up when we, uh... When I got arrested, they cleared out the house, so everything just got fucking jumbled and then... I ended up with that shit. No, no, nobody's gonna pay. I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck we ended up with this. Peanut tried to save me on this, bro. I'm not gonna fucking get on his ass. Thank you for taking so Wash long, but... I wanted to make sure everything is solid, and I'm not fucking you over, I'm not fucking myself over. Cut. All right, it's the case. For any incidents that transpired in between the time you were in prison, since I can't fully 100% get what you're claiming, I can't say it's whether truth or a lie, you're not going to be charged for something that took place in the time where you were in prison. Okay? okay, fair. For now, pending further investigation, if we can find out whether you were in prison actually or you were discharged prior to the incident that took place or whatnot. So okay. it's not, you're not completely in the clear for those, but you are going to be investigated and the, situ the situation as a whole will be investigated further. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Okay. Now, a couple of those, I do agree. I think they do need further investigation. So I'm not hundred percent behind pressing all of them, you but there were those some hold that, as well. Not all of them. Wait, what'd you say? Are those ones, the ones that need more investigation, are those going on hold? Th those, those will be on hold. They, as long as they are still within the 30 day statute of limitations. And as I'm coming up, I don't like waiting till the last day to press charges. So I'm going to be working on this for the next few days. I'm going to be checking, talking to people, getting their side further investigation. Okay, and yep. if it comes up short, I won't charge you with it. It's as simple as that. I if really it appreciate does come that. up with more info and I believe that you are the perpetrator in that situation, I'll come for you. I'll give you an opportunity to turn yourself in. If not, I don't want to put out a warrant, but I will. Okay. Okay, I actually, I really right. like this. Don't You don't have to necessarily drop things, but the ones yes. that need more investigating, don't charge me with I those look into today. Them further. Look into them. Yes. Yeah, exactly. This is how it should be done, actually. Okay. He just solved so, the fucking puzzle. The stuff that took place today, right? That's happening. The possession of the gun, the uh, leaving our custody, whatever the fuck Jimbo said you were being charged with today, okay? Everything that took place in the past week since you came and you claim that you received the firearm on Sunday. Everything that's transpired, you will be charged with that as well. Okay? Okay. Now, further pending. I need some more information from you, if possible. 
I need you to try to help me originate where this firearm came from, because not only would that further clear your name, it'll direct me, you know, towards the motherfucker who shot me in the neck, you know, and was responsible for all these other crimes. Yep. Okay. I mean, the same story I told you before. All right. Let me say it again. Any more? Any more people were there? Were there any people who could? Um. Any cars? Any distinct shit like that that could further? Yeah, you know, a white sultan. A white sultan. Okay. Was parked up around that church area, like a white building near Jamestown. I figured it was a saint, so I hid. Um, the guy with a tan shirt, black vest, tattoo on the neck, came out. Right. That's when I ambushed him. He tried to uh, he tried to pull something out, which I'm guessing was the gun. I didn't wait to see what it was. I stabbed him, uh, robbed him, took the gun, and then I, I left in the lamp of God. It was it was like the the new type of sultan, by the way, not like the, you know what I mean? Actually sounds true because everything I said is true except for the actual stabbing part. <laughs> Look me in the eye, Mr. Kite. Yeah. Are you telling the truth to me right now? Yeah, do the investigating. They they you own a white sultan. Tell me, you tell me the truth. A white sultan. You probably find one of them world. with the exact description I said. I just don't know his I, name. That's fair. That's very fair. Okay. It, it's all it's all legit info. All right. Before that, I was using the 1911. That's when I got caught. I got this gun on the 10th. That's why when he originally came up to me, I was confused. I was like, what? Like, what do you? Mm. And then it all registered. I was like, oh, gun probably mm -hmm. has a serial person before probably did hell of shit. Why don't you just carry like a, you know, like a wrench or some shit, man? Why, why the gun? Why the gun, Mr. K? I mean, you see the headache that it causes? Uh, it's not worth it. I'll be honest, though. I'm fired from 70% of jobs. The other 30% okay. of jobs are, I can't do that shit, man. This. You're getting too old for that, huh? You don't want to I sit on the back of a sanitation a truck. Sanitation truck. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Hey, listen, you know, if you get an expungement, you're a great detective. I can't hunt because I'm, I'm a felon, so I can't get a rifle. So, uh. You can't expunge? Expungement? That's way too expensive. Ew, shit. Okay, fair enough. It's impossible. To, how am I going to get that money from fired from all the money making jobs? They put you in a hole and they keep you there. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, like I don't really have a choice. All I, the only way I can make money is robbing people. Okay. So like I said, <laughs> I, this is going to sound really odd, but I somewhat believe you. And I believe you I'm, have I'm been serious. telling the truth. I mean, you can look. I was called yeah, the 1911. Hey, man, out. how long have I known your ass, okay? You always be chatting sometimes. You'll be waffling a little I'll bit. Tell you exactly real, what okay? So, yeah, I had the 1911. I was wild now with that gun. You can look at the report. There's tons of fucking charges. Right. Yeah. I know. I, 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 I was there I for part of jail. the interview. Yeah. I was in jail three days. I come out on the, on the 10th. I'm in need of a fucking gun because, uh, you know, I'm pissed the fuck off. So I was like, oh, let me just get a gun because anyone who tries me, I'm a fucking, they going to have some problems. So that's when, um, you know, I found out there was some shit going on this thing. So I posted up, hit a lick on them, got a gun, and there you go. That's the exact reason why I did it. Did you know they had a gun prior? I knew that, um, that it was possible that they had some. I didn't know exactly who had it. I just guess I got lucky on that one. I only asked that because I, from my understanding, there was a back and forth between you all. Was yeah. that firearm ever utilized? Now, I don't want you, this isn't like, I don't want you to think you're sending me towards um, them. This isn't going to lead to incriminating shit, but it's just... Oh, I'll, I'll, right I, listen, I'm a man of my they word. Utilize a gun before? Did they or did I? You have they utilized a gun prior in your back and forth between you and your crew and they and their crew? 
before or after I stole that? Before you stole it. Before I stole it? I don't know about before because I was in jail. Uh, after? I mean, after there's definitely a, a shooting that happened. Did you shoot them, Mr. K? What the hell yeah, wrong I with you? I shot them with it. Listen, I'll be honest. I told you what anything the from fuck? the 10th and forward, I'll be, I'll be straightforward. I shot them with it. That's you know what, what I'm trying I, to tell you. I, I what, the honesty. That's why I want to I, I really reports, appreciate the honesty. Yeah. I'll, anything to the 10th till now, I'll tell you exactly what happened. The other stuff before I got arrested was not me. I was using a 1911. How you doing? You sorted here as easy. You need anything else? I uh, partially, Chief. I'm just uh, How you doing, getting Chief? more of his side. Hey, Mr. K. Getting a lot more of the facts. That'd be good from if him. Chief's here, actually. This is a good constructive 100%. talk. Yeah. You know what? I think this is a great officer, Chief. He's actually, um, I, I think he's doing justice right. Anything that's a uh, gray area, if he waters, he's putting aside. He's going to investigate it further. He's not dropping those charges, but I think he's doing. I think he's doing proper police work. Yeah, I mean, him and I are very much on the same wavelength and always have mm -hmm. been, so. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it, okay? But, hey, Let hey, me push hey. something if you believe in it. That's generally how it is. 100%. For me. Hey, that's, that's why, yeah. That's why, Mr. K, like I told you, you've been here for quite some time, and I want to get to the actual truth, right? And that's why I'm asking you all these questions, going back and forth and referencing them all, okay? Yep, I appreciate it. Let me go through all this shit real quick, okay? I'm going to throw in what you just told me, and I'm going to look at the other incidents, and we'll go down the list, okay? Okay. How's everything been, Barrack? Not too bad, not too bad. A lot of meetings, a lot of paperwork, but, you mm. know, that's the first few weeks on the job. Do the calls. Like that. Yep. Gotta go fucking meet with Bobby and Carmine. <laughs> yeah, they called me earlier. Oh, God. Yeah. They, you know, they're going by Baron now, right? They don't be called wardens. They're Barons. It's disgusting. What? <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think Bobby saw the Dune movies wait, like one too many times. Yeah, he's all fucking living his little fantasy world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thinks he's some king or something like that. But it's ridiculous. All right. Uh, I got to go talk to some people in the lobby. Let me, let me know if you need anything else. Aziz. We'll do. Thank you, Chief. Okay, so the incident at the courthouse, that transpired on the 9th. So you are not going to be charged with that pending further investigation, okay? That was one count attempted murder of a government employee. So we're going to take that down. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, we got another one at Crusade Medical, which took place on the 9th as well. I believe that was going to be one count assault with a deadly. And it's going to be further investigated from there. Okay. All right. Report 3204. This took place at Senior Buns uh, on the 4th. Okay, let me look at the details on this one. Three seven eight nine. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'm going to read you the statement. I'm not going to read you any other statements, but I'm going to read you the statement, okay? The victim did not wish to make a statement or give his contact. He also said that he slipped and fell. Okay, so we can just drop this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. Lord have Why mercy did they even make that soul. report? Lord have mercy on my soul. I mean, they did find a bullet in him. Yeah, so but I, think, I mean, if the guy's not pursuing anything, not yeah. talking. At some extent to us having to do... Our job, if we think that somebody may be scared type shit, you know what I mean? That we have to follow it, up. Just, you know, in case it comes up yeah. in a different thing. I, I'm going to further investigate that? this. Yeah, I'm going to further investigate this. It's depending, depending on more info if we get any more, okay? Yo, see, they were going to charge him with all this shit, and now these reports are weak as fuck. Like, that's not even, like, why is that even... He's he's actually... Pro yeah, now he's digging into it and, like, what the fuck? Some of this is... Lazy work, bro. Lazy work. I'm not saying him, but you know what I mean? All right, next one is report 2807. Let's take a look at this one. This one transpired on the 26th. Oh, it's me. I've said Aziz was shot. Yeah. Um, 
further investigation because of some of the things that you brought up as well as hang on okay yeah no uh, i'm not judging with this one either see uh, and that's why i brought up earlier i was like what's the let me hear the description of the person that shot these people in these reports because i guarantee you it ain't gonna look like it ain't gonna be a description of me because <laughs> it actually was not me that's the we're actually not lying about that those anything before the ninth is not me no that one wasn't me this was peanuts gun i had the 1911 all the way up until the seventh yeah, I had the 1911. It's actually not me. I'm not even bullshitting him. None of those are me at all. Okay, next one is report 2623. Let me look this up. I said up until the 7th. Uh, yeah, the EMS was me. That was the 9th. Or up until the 6th, even. Well, I mean, actually, it'll be anything up until the 9th. Yeah, it's not me. The judge and EMS were me, but we're playing. You know, he doesn't know exactly when I got out. The 9th is when we got out, but he doesn't know exactly when. This one was on the 22nd. This one was the criminal use. He's gonna look okay. into it. No, I'll probably get hit with that later on. We won't get that hit one, with it today. I believe it is potential that you were the person who discharged a firearm. Okay, and since you were in possession of it, when was the day? I believe this one took place on the twenty second of February. At that time, you did have you have the firearm now. Your but claim you're is that you didn't have the stories firearm. that someone else had the firearm and, and due to, uh, to to your report. That's true. And I had the 1911 that I was using at that time. But how and can I, I go up with what you you're telling my, me to be the look truth? Look at my reports right? from the 1911. There's probably shootings on similar dates, which would mean, what the fuck was I dual wielding? Were you dual wielding? No, I wasn't. You can't do okay. it. <laughs> I got a double shot. And I'm yeah, but you I mean, like, story... you could keep one gun somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, that, I got that the gun on the tent. So... Kind of... But that's what you claim, right? Do I know that to yeah, be a fact? Yeah, but my story's all lining up till now, no? To an extent. Parts of it are parts of I mean, it. I'm, I'm, I have uh, to further investigate to get to the bottom, right? Exactly. So I, that one, there's second. literally nothing. There is no evidence. There is no nothing. There's no statement. Hey, anything. I hear. Here's your task for you becoming a full officer as your senior. Go, go secure that 13 Bravo for me, okay? How's that sound? Damn straight, I'm a poor rank. Listen, let me uh, let me call you in a bit. I'm just processing down at Mission Road right now, okay? All right. All right. Bye. Okay. Uh, where were we? So you were saying because you claim that your alibi is that you obtained a firearm uh, this weekend on the Sunday, right? That this transpired prior to that. Yep, and I was using, okay. and I'll tell you right, I was using the 1911 before that. That's what you claim, right? I, I have to, there is some basis to this that I agree with. The fact that you were apprehended with a firearm with the 1911 at that time before the Cornwood incident, which you were sent up, like you say, and I do recall this, Pretty long sentencing. It was a hefty sentencing because of the charges you were looking at, right? So on my yeah. behalf, what I will do for that, I need to cooperate and go see what's going on, okay? I need to go see what they're saying. Uh, I need to go look at records from the prison to see when you were discharged from the prison. That's what I can do for you to see. No, I'm talking about the, uh, the criminal that... use one. Yeah. Or it's just the casings found? So it's the, if you're unsure if I actually had it or not at that point, I don't think I should be charged with it. Um, put that on pending too to figure out the other stuff. What was the date of the Man. criminal use one? That was on the 22nd of February. How many days ago was that? Listen, man, I think you would have made a better return if it were me, did. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next one. What do we get to? We got to report 2623. Oh. All right, we're going to look at report 2614. This transpired on the 21st. Okay. So this did take place around the same time, which you were claiming, right? Let me read if there was any statements provided with this one. Just one moment. It was on the 21st of February. Where were you doing? On the night of... What day was that? On the 21st of February 2024, Mr. K, tell me what you were doing. I'm trying to remember. I may have had a court case that day. What the fuck? One of the... Okay. You're able to look. I had a big court case for my appeal, the and then I got charged. When was I charged with my first evading? Your first ever evading? Yeah. Charged or sentenced? Like when the incident, sentenced. when you were arrested? Or... When I was okay, arrested. Okay, I got to look at the docket. Did that make it to the docket or no? I had a court case, and then I got chased after the case, and I drowned in the water and got arrested for Because evading. you had a warrant, right? Yeah. That's when they chased you after that? I remember that day. That was, let me see when that was. Wait, isn't that that same day that Rami held us up and then 
that was the same situation, the right? Day, yeah. Okay, okay. Let me look it up real quick. I don't know what exact day that was on. I can find that for you. That took place on the 24th. The 24th? So there was three days after that, yeah. Okay, and you're asking so three me days on the, before what that. day? It was the 21st, and your warrant thing, the apprehension, took place on the 24th. So three days before that. Where were you? Who were you talking to? What were you doing? What's the uh, report say for the 21st one? Listen, what it says. This, I do somewhat think you have maybe some involvement or you were involved in it, if I'm being honest, because of the location of the crime. Okay, yeah. Mr. K, do you still live on Grove Street? Um, yep. Well, this crime took place on Grove Street. Okay. What's the crime? The crime that you're potentially looking at for this was two counts assault with a deadly weapon. Listen, I'm, uh, I didn't use this gun until the 10th. So that's just my story for everything, to be honest. I was using the 1911 uh -huh. all the way up until I was arrested. Right, right, right. No, I'm dead serious as this. Okay. I mean, you could do what you want to do based on what you think, but I honestly did not use this gun until the 10th. Subject of further investigation. You, you hang tight, okay? You hang tight. So for this, the uh, incident that transpired on the 21st uh, on Grove Street, I do have to follow up and see if there is some truth to what you're saying, right? Uh, I have to follow up and I'm going to do my part. So this is still pending charges. Okay, you're not yeah. being charged no, with no. them today. I, I completely understand okay. that. I live, uh, and I, if it helps, I live at the end of the cul de sac. At the end of it, right? Yep, the very end. Okay, and do you still live there? Yep. And I remember at one point when you were doing Section K, you had a couple of houses all together, right? I own the one right next to it at the very end of the cul de sac as well, and then I own one on Broke. All right, let's go down the list. The next one. How much time do you think we're going to get total shot? All right, let's look at this one. Incident 2999. This was the shooting that I brought up, I believe, at Crusade Medical. This took place on the 21st as well. Uh, individuals were pursued. Uh, a Anto Murphy was apprehended. Wait. Yeah, I believe an Anto Murphy. Somebody you're familiar with? Yes? I know he is, yeah. Okay. So at the time that this crime transpired, uh, Mr. Anto uh, resisted. He had some moonshine. He kidnapped an individual, robbed him, held him in front of a mountain lion and made him dance in front of it and meowing until he was eventually shot in the back of the head by a vulture. By a what? By a vulture. Does that describe me at all? Well, I mean, see, if you were around me, I'd say kind of more plausible, but it's, uh... Let me read me. I'm this telling one. you right now, I did not have this gun until the 10th. Let me, let me read through the entirety of this. If you notice, it's a one, different description for every one. every person that's... It's a different description. It seems like this thing got fucking passed around. <sighs> okay. And you claimed you got the firearm the on Sunday. Yep. Morning, night, afternoon, evening? Um... Around well, this that's time? Well, kind of depends... Like, what are you talking? What morning are we talking about? You know, I, like around this time right now. Give me like an hour before from yeah, now, an hour time. after. Around this time, would be like, okay. Around this time, okay. Hey, did you admit at one point you shot a firearm? Uh, an incident that took place on the seventh. So not admit it. Uh, yeah, on the seventh. Wait, hang on. Sorry, this transpired on the third. No. I don't know. You gotta tell me more. It's, uh, I mean, there's really not. It was by the train tracks by Los Santos Freeway. Shot a weapon, no? A firearm was discharged. You were charged with criminal use of a firearm. And it says here you were processed here. Can you, can you tell me more? I don't remember. Sure. Um, it took place on the 3rd. There was, it was on the inside of the, you know, the little uh, long barn. Right out to the canals by the freeway, by Los Santos Freeway, by the bus depot. Okay. Uh, on the inside, there was a lot of blood there, a bunch of projectiles, and a casing from outside shooting inwards. What was the casing? Was it a forty-five? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It came back to the... Well, hang on. Actually, no. 
I think you were charged for that for your 1911. Exactly. I'm telling you, I had the 1911 all the way up until I was arrested. But there is casings of the same firearm that was found on you today there as well. But I was charged with the 1911 casing? Yeah, so you were processed for the hot gun from the 1911 because it returned back to this scene as well. But now... Yeah, 1911. Now... Well, that was not me. Now, my question is, this raises a massive eyebrow for me because you, you're found in possession of two of the guns, right? At one point, it was the 1911 when you were there back then. And you had the mm -hmm. gun. And when you were found for the Cornwall situation, you were arrested and charged for the priors that the gun came back to, right? Which this one was one of them, which is why you were charged criminal use. And you were processed by Captain Slacks for that situation when he hit you with all the hot guns that you had before. Yeah. But in this one also, we have the same casing and projectile for the firearm that you were found with today. Yeah, but, but there's that also wasn't, blood that matching wasn't me, to. There's blood matching to. Oh, let me see who's blood. We got this here. chat. Peanuts. It was Peanuts' blood there with you at that scene of the location. Yeah. Well, I mean, if that's okay. what your report says, it wasn't me, though. I had a 1911 45 caliber. It's like, yeah, you've been honest with me, right? 100%. And it's, it's good. I like this line of communication. So can you just be honest with me one more time? What do you need to know? Did Peanut give you this gun? No, he did not. I stole this off a Saints member. Now, I don't know how that exchanged hands before. A lot of people do get robbed. So I can't tell you exactly who... I mean, you can see based on reports, this thing has obviously traveled through many people. I did not get that gun until the 10th. I, until, before then, I used the 1911. That's all I know. Yeah, but now I'm curious as to why Peanuts, right? Peanuts' blood huh? was there, and there is two sets of casings. One was the gun that you had on yours, and Peanuts' blood is there. I honestly don't know. I don't even remember that, okay. that situation. All yeah, I know I is that as well. I used a 1911, and the reports all back that up. This ain't about Peanut, this is about me. This is true. Peanut is not on trial for that, but I am questioning you to get further inf info. Uh, a, clear you and... He's on trial for that? Who, him? Not for that one. Oh. I'm saying he's not on trial oh, for it, okay. you know what I mean? So I, you don't have to say shit, it'll just help no, me clear you and get me to a, a further understanding of it, right? I, yeah, I don't even really remember. Okay. All I know is 1911. And like you, like you said, the reports back that up. Yeah, so I'm not going to charge you with that. I'm not going to hit you with criminal use for that one just because the casings are there and you had it on you since you're already charged for having a hot gun at that yeah, situation. Exactly. Which kind of helps your case, to be honest. Oh, I'm being, I'm being genuinely honest. I, 1911. I was, I was wreaking havoc with the 1911 until I got caught. Okay, this one was 3167. Let me note this down. Whew, that was a close one. It's good we it's good we did because we're actually finding out. Wait, what the fuck? These aren't actually me, these charges. <laughs> and we, I have the, I have the proof to back up that it wasn't me. The nineteen eleven reports and the charges of me being on scenes with nineteen elevens and me being in jail for a period of time and this that. Uh, I know I'm quiet. I'm just looking through a lot of this shit. Just one hey, second. Fine. You told them you're smarter than a lawyer. I guarantee you, I'm doing better than a fucking lawyer would have did for me. Because, you know, okay, these lawyers may be smart, but I know how this shit works. I've been arrested more than any of those lawyers. I probably talk to the cops more than the lawyers, too, just on the fact that we've been arrested so much. <laughs> Not that that's anything to fucking brag about, but I've had, dude, throughout the course of the whole... Let me make whole... one quick phone call, and after that, I should have your final charges and everything ready, okay? All right, I appreciate you being fair. Um, no problem. Hey, I'll be honest with you. This opened my eyes I, too. I was like, holy fuck. Wait, I'm actually... Good thing I fought this because I was just, just going to fuck myself and shit I never even did. Essentially. And that's that's something I... You know how we were talking about integrity? No, this... Yeah, honestly, I I, I, res, I really respect yeah. what you're doing right now. That's, that's even what the I ones see as where integrity. you're just moving them into investigation. I think that's something that should be done moving forward, to be honest. I'm going to push that up, trust me. Uh, I'm going to speak with Chief. Let him know about this. I'm going to fill them in on all the details, but... Yeah, like if there's it's gray just, areas healthy. on certain ones, yeah. instead of just charging people with it and saying, oh, well, take it to court. Why not? Yeah, just move it to investigation. You got you got 30 days to look into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Or 30 days from when they took place. Well, I got like a week or so to look into most of this shit. So you'll probably be hearing back from me within a week, maybe a little bit over the next. Hey, I'll, okay? I'll be there to work with you. I, I appreciate that.
Hey, just give me two seconds. I'm gonna make a quick phone call, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this fucking guy. That's fed. Just did the rest of your charges. Aziz, Aziz should be down with the rest of them soon. Aziz dropped your line at the start. He was like, uh, what did he say? Or no, was okay. it Jimbo? Let me start cooking up your Don't worry, Kay. I'm just trying to make sure I got the right charge for you. Your way, Please Mr. be patient. I said, fuck you. <laughs> What's going on? I'm just going to look at it one final time. I'm not going to talk much, okay? I'm just going to review all of it. Detective? I mean, Mr. A K. lot of motherfuckers have like four or five. Yeah. Here's what's going to happen. Trust me, chat. I streamed off of one monitor Six. for a long time. Like I mentioned to you. And then eventually two. And I was on area. two for like forever. Any further investigations, these charges are not removed. They are still pending on you with further investigation so I can corroborate your claims and your story, okay? Okay. I'm leaning towards getting you on what I have right now today, okay? Making sure everything is good. I'm going to go back and get all the information that I need. Since I got you on what you did today, you will be charged with what occurred today. Uh, with the joyriding, whatever the fuck happened when you flipped over and Peanut came over and all that shit, okay? Okay. Everything else surrounding the conversation we've had for the past God fucking knows how long, right? Three hours, just about. Maybe Has more. Has it actually been? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm sorry for keeping you here for that long, but... I think this no, was I'm important. I'm glad we did it. It's turned out into a really good, uh, I, I like and this. And I, I want to tell you, right, this might not be a plan every time, but I will try to get this enforced one way or another to people doing a little bit more well, on our know, side, on your side, A big issue side, with the PD yeah. has always been rushing cases, right? And then they go to court and you guys lose them. Yes, I, I agree think with what you. you're doing today is the right move because you're not just throwing the, you're not, usually their, their motto is, well, you could take it to court. I don't care. You can take it to court. Well, then it goes to court and they lose. And then now, now it's in, now it's a case. What are they, a case law, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And, and then there's precedent set. And then yeah. it, it creates bad faith between people and officers. And that's what creates the disconnect. And you got right? the 30 days for a reason to, to properly investigate. Exactly. Stuff. So what, you know, if it's not ready to be pushed, why push it? And that's, that's my thought process right now. Right. I could send you up and then go investigate it and see if it's true. But then at, to me, that's not due process. That's not integrity. That's me just sending you up and I'll deal with it later and you can appeal it. To me, I want to make sure everything is done correct. And personally, to me, this many of bro. these, from what you told me in your side, and I might be called an idiot, but I believe you were telling me the truth in some aspects. Do I think you're telling the full truth? Maybe, but it's not likely, right? I think you were telling me some truths, only with some lies, and that's just the reality of it. And I have to do my job here. And my decision is I'm going to be charging you with the crimes that you committed today. Everything else is pending. We're going to be looking at what's going on and potentially facing more charges before the statute of limitations for each one of those. Okay. So keep an eye on your phone. Within a week, I might call you down here just for further questioning. Yep. Okay. I'll, if I I'll, get some I'll, more info. I'll uh, cooperate and everything. Okay. I appreciate that. So like Jimbo told you about the situation that took place today. Yeah. Uh, let me find it real quick. Dude, this, so many I'm fucking actually, reports. Uh, I don't really want to look at a report for the next fucking few hours. I'm going to be honest. How he's you. handling this. All right. Let's see. I'll this this was. Mr. K, you are looking at four charges. One count joyriding, one count reckless evading, one count resisting arrest, one count criminal possession of a class one firearm. You should be looking at escaping custody as well. One second. Yeah, because I was cuffed yeah. at one point. So you are looking at escaping custody as well. So it's a total of five charges, okay? Okay, I'll plead guilty to all those. All right. Guilty comes out to a $17,000 fine, okay? Uh, listen, uh, at this point, you're in the negative on time served, okay? I, I should be going to prison for you on, on your behalf. But since it is a felony, I do have to still send you up, okay? Yeah. All right. All right, so the bill is 17320 You've had a lot of time off, so I'm only going to be sending you up for 10, all right? Okay. Any comments, concerns, questions for me today? Uh, nothing. We're good to go, boss. All right. Again, uh, I hate the fact that it took this long, but I think this is a general step in the right direction that we want to take the PD. No, 100%. At least the way I view it, right? This is exactly how I felt things should, should have always been. This is what has been driving me crazy for years. And you literally are the first one to actually sit there and just from a logical standpoint, be like, listen, why am I going to charge him with this? If it's not even like complete yet. 
we have the 30 days why not wait and make sure it's all checks out make sure it's right because then if it does go to court and let's say you were right you'd most likely win because you did the proper work instead of going to court have a sloppy case it, and right? losing and, yes yeah. That's not uh, the type of shit I operate. I, I, I never understood the mentality of, yeah. well, you know, we got to push it. Fuck it. We can push it. So let's just push it. I've never understood that. There's some shit that should stick, right? And there's some things that yeah, are if it's, up if to it's the interpretation of court, right? Like, you know, larger ones. Yeah. But if Small it's like, charges oh, like this, I can look at it, look at the facts, look at the evidence and talk to you. Right? That's important too. You're one part of the parties that's allegedly involved, right? So... That's important to me as well. You need to get all sides of the story or try to. And if I can't, and I will be pressing them, right? Because it does yeah. ultimately fall under constructive, right? That's when I'll push it. Because it is constructive. But if there's a way that's deterring me or I'm not 100% beyond reasonable doubt, believe that you committed that crime, I'm not one to press that shit. Okay? Okay. All right. You take care, Mr. K. You have a wonderful day. And if you have any comments, concerns... I'll talk to you in, a, in another day. Okay? All right. All right. That's crazy. Legit, though. Uh, that's, uh, dude, how that just went down is how I always think it should have gone, gone down. If the report is not solid and there's a lot of fucking holes and there's a lot of questionable things and you can't, you, you can't without certain be like, yeah, this, this guy. And you have 30 days to investigate and really dig into it. I don't see the reason to, uh, you know what I mean? I, I do that. What used to tilt me so much when I would be like, yo, what the fuck? Like this doesn't make sense. Why well, he's like, well, you can appeal it later. Or if like the officer that made that report wasn't around. Oh my God. And it was like a dumbass report. This is how it used to be. And this how, uh, how it might still be, but hopefully it changes. If the officer that wrote the report wasn't around, you couldn't even argue it. It could have been the dumbest report ever. You could not argue it. They would, they would just lock you up and say, well, you could take it to court. And I always hated that. I'm like, bro, why? Why? This report is fucking trash. It doesn't even make sense. There's holes everywhere. It was done late. It was done lazy. If we got to take, be accountable for the crimes we do in RP and go to jail and fucking get these big fines and get set back weeks because it's hard as fuck to make money as a criminal being a criminal is not fucking easy right now then yo the reports should be held to a high standard too they should investigating the investigations should be done to a high standard especially if we're the ones like hey don't, well if you don't want to do the time don't do the crime well motherfucker do your investigation all right just give me some a proper fucking justice here you got the 30 days for a reason I hate the, I, yeah, I hate when they'll just be like, well, you know, we got the warrant. We got the report. Uh, you were found with it. We're just going to charge you. I hate that so much. That's what, that's what drives me crazy. Let's see if we can get a lockpick before we get out of here.